What's up YouTube? Uh, gonna be showing you a video today on how to take photos in Forza Horizon 4 and how to upload them onto Instagram. Uh, the settings I use and all that. So up on the D-pad in Forza it brings you to photo mode. I'm using the Porsche Panamera Turbo for this. Uh, it's currently autumn. Uh, I found this pretty cool spot. It was just after it was raining. So there's some leaves on the ground. There's a cool park beside it with this cool fence. Um, so yeah. Basically for Instagram as well what you want to do is uh, I use most of my shots in portrait mode So if we just tilt to the left or tilt to the right it doesn't really make a difference You can always fix it in post so I'm just tilting to the right here Just straighten it up a little bit. We do have the Sun behind the car That's important to note for when you're editing after I'll be taking a photo from the back and from the front So you can understand what I'm trying to say um, Here I'm using zoom 3.0 bring it back a little bit I think that's pr a perfect zoom level uh, so we'll just straighten this out here uh, it looks pretty good there drop it down so I'm gonna have the, the sort of the, the bottom of the car and the sort of uh, you know first two-thirds of the photo so we we'll bring up the UI again here to get that focus wheel and we'll just focus the car just like that hide the UI and then frame it back up again um, yeah, it looks pretty good there. Let's move it over a little bit. Perfect. Cool. So what we want to do here then is we'll just bring the UI up again and click Y for effects mode and I'll show you my settings. So shutter speed, um, 60. Focus mode will have tracking, focus on zero. Exposure, for this I'm using 40. Um, it all depends on you know the, the level of the sun. 40 is fine. Aperture, I generally don't go above 20 for my aperture. Um, so yeah, you can see, bring it back down to 20, um, and then with the, the aperture, the bokeh, we'll just keep a circle, um, move on to sampling, we'll have that as quality, contrast on 48, color 62, brightness 43, sepia, nah, don't worry about it, vignetting, don't worry about it, temperature, this is all up to you, um, if you want it cool, bring it down, if you want it warm, bring it up. I have mine on 47, it's an autumn, kind of warmish day, so leave it at that. Lights, I've disabled them for this, you can enable them if you want, it's completely up to you. Um, I've disabled my driver, only when the car is parked. Uh, and then crowd and creatures, don't worry about it, we don't have any of those in our photo. Cool, so it looks good, let's just straighten this up a little bit. Hide the UI, uh, looks pretty good to me. Uh, okay, so what we want to do now is we just want to take a screenshot. So if you just click the X on your controller and click Y, simple screenshot. I do currently have the uh, Series Elite 2 controller, so I've actually modded mine so that one of the back bumper buttons takes a quick screenshot. And it's super simple, super easy. Um, okay, so that was the first photo. Let's see if we can get another photo. Um, okay, now I think. No, we want something from the back so I can show you the sun hitting the back of the car. Um, looks pretty good there. Oh yeah, if I can use the fence, that looks pretty good if I'll just zoom in a little bit and try and get in between. Yeah, so then we can have the, the fence out of focus and the car in focus. That looks pretty good. So we'll just focus the car. Yeah, happy with that. Uh, okay, so we'll take a quick screenshot. Perfect. Um, I use an external hard drive for saving my sort of game captures or my screenshots. It's just super easy for me to unplug from the Xbox and plug into the computer. Here you can see the capture location is my two terabyte hard drive. Just make sure that it is 3.0, otherwise it won't work. So let's exit photo mode here and pop into Adobe Lightroom. So what you want to do is go up to file, come down to import and I'll search for game DVR where my photos are saved. There we go. There's a couple of video clips in here, so what we'll do is just uncheck all. I have some other photos that I took the other day. We'll just select those and just make sure everything's ticked and then hit import. And we'll give this just a few seconds to import. There we go. Right there. And we'll take the two photos that we just took and develop. So what we want to first do is take both and rotate. 
I'll be doing a quick speed edit on this um, and crop. Uh, generally for Instagram you want to crop to a 5x4 or a 4x5. Um, I have my own preset that I use for these pictures and then I use that as a base and then just tweak the rest. I'm going to copy the develop settings on this and I'm going to bring them in and paste them onto the second image. As I mentioned earlier, because the sun was hitting the car from the back, you can see that the develop settings, they just oversaturate the color on the car a little bit. So I'm going to just dull the photo up a little bit, um, give it a moody effect. Um, see, this looks pretty good here. Again, if, if you guys want to see more on my preset or how I edit, just let me know. I can go into a bit more detail about that. So up on Instagram here, the important thing to note is just hitting those two little arrows in the bottom left corner and that's it. The rest is pretty straightforward. Give it a quick description and then a few hashtags. Thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Um, if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button and the bell notification. I've just started this Instagram page um, at Forza Stills if you want to go and give it a follow for realistic Forza photos. Thanks guys.